today i am discussing about adverse drug reactions uh, here you will get a five mark question you just define what is adverse drug reaction and also you can explain three or four times but i am going to explain more times you can choose uh, whichever you want okay first we will see the definition what is according to who definition what is adverse drug reaction is any noxious unintended and undesired effect of a drug which occurs at a dose used in humans so when you are given drug for three purpose one is for flaxes to prevent the disease and as well as diagnosis and treatment so when you give the drug a particular dose for these three purpose you will get a noxious unintended or undesired effect that you don't require it's not a therapeutic effect that you call it as an adverse effect or adverse drug reactions coming to the classification there are two major types type a and type b type a is the predictable one and type b is the unpredictable <clears throat> when you say type a it's an extension of pharmacological effect you can you can predict often predictable and it's dose dependent responsible for at least two third of adverse drug reaction propranolol and hot plug it causes hot plug anticholinergics it causes dryness of mouth type b it's unpredictable idiosyncratic or immunological reaction like uh, they are those are genetically susceptible or very sensitive in those people only you will see this type b reaction it's rare so it's you can't predict this chloramphenicol it causes aplastic anemia aplastic anemia means in this uh, there is a bone marrow suppression will be there chloramphenicol is an antibiotic it causes aplastic anemia um, there are differences given you can go through this slide uh, next coming to the uh, we'll go one by one what are the different types of adverse drug reaction or effects first one is the side effect side effect uh, what is what do you mean by side effect means it's an unwanted but unavoidable pharmacodynamic effects occurring at therapeutic doses this is the definition side effect may be of three types one is side effect may be based on same action as therapeutic effect i'll give an example here the therapeutic effect is same i mean uh, whatever you are going um, the drug is going to show the therapeutic effect same way it causes the side effect or same the system it acts and uh, it produces a side effect example glycerin trinitrate it's used in angina it produces uh, dilatation of uh, peripheral vasculature or blood vessels is going to dilate that's the reason for throbbing headache throbbing headache means you feel like needle pricking kind of headache and postural hypotension when they uh, suddenly stand up from the sitting posture they feel falling beating and the second tap is side effect uh, is one context it acts as a side effect and in another place it's used as a therapeutic effect you can use it atropine when you give as a pre anesthetic medication like before giving anesthesia we'll give some medication right so as a pre anesthetic medication if you give it produces a dryness of mouth like uh, by decreasing all the secretions mainly salivary secretion it produces dryness of mouth that can be used in case of pre anesthetic medication but in other constant it is a adverse effect okay and codeine it is used for the treatment of cough uh, that time it produces constipation uh, sorry uh, first one we will come to that atropine uh, it's used in pre anesthetic medication uh, in that case it produces dryness of mouth as a uh, like uh, decreasing all the secretions there it is an adverse effect but dryness of mouth where you can use in case of sialuria or if there is a highly salivary secretions is high in that case it is used as a treatment purpose codeine uh, when you give a cough it produces constipation as an adverse effect if the drug is producing constipation where you can use in case of opposite that is diarrhea you can use okay uh, side effect and third type of side effect is like it gave an hint to development of newer drug digoxin when you use first it produces a b conduction depression 
uh, that time it give an hint like it can be used for congestive heart failure same sulfonamides first they introduced as an antibiotic like antibacterial agent during that time they produce hypoglycemia as an adverse effect when you give for antibacterial agent as an antibacterial agent Hypogly the drug is producing hypoglycemia means you can use for which condition that is hyperglycemia means diabetes mellitus like that they developed sulfonyl urea sulfonyl urea are one of the anti diabetic drug oral uh, anti diabetic drug are hypoglycemics okay next type of adverse effect is secondary effect indirect consequence of a primary action of the drug example super infection due to tetracycline super what is super infection means here you are given drug for one a particular infection during that time if they uh, they will get a newer infection that is called super infection development of a newer infection for the treatment when you are on the treatment of a particular infection or antibiotic okay latent tuberculosis what is latent tuber tuberculosis means tuberculosis like uh, the patient already recovered but there may be chance to reoccurrence okay uh, it is activated by corticosteroids because corticosteroids they suppress the immune system that causes tuberculosis a re reappearance of the tuberculosis okay next one is the idiosyncratic reaction what is idiosyncrasy means genetically determined abnormal reactivity to a chemical means only those who are genetically susceptible in the, those patients you will see these adverse effects not with all the patients example barbiturates they are used in insomnia and epilepsy also as a general anesthetic also we are using it produces mental confusion and also excitement reactions chloramphenicol it causes a plastic anemia intolerance failure to tolerate even a single dose of a drug appearance of a characteristic toxic effect of a drug in an individual at therapeutic doses okay you will see only in few patients again it is intolerance they can't tolerate even a single dose of a drug means it's only with the few patients okay example trifluoromycin it is a antipsychotic drug it produces muscular dystonia dystonia means involuntary muscle contraction Uh, carbamazepine it's used in epilepsy it produces ataxia ataxia means mental confusion chloroquine it is used in malaria it produces vomiting and abdominal pain aspirin it's an analgesic it's used uh, it produces gastric bleeding poisons and poisoning next uh, next type of adverse effect is the poisoning okay what is poison means chemical is a chemical substance that endangers life by affecting one or more vital functions of the body okay how the poisoning will occur like one is accidental like uh, when you are using pesticides and all if you are keeping in a home just by a mistake if it eat or drink that time accidentally it may occur Uh, second one is the suicidal uh, teenage people they will go for suicide particular specifically they will take it and next one is the homicidal if you are using same vessels or utensil for mixing the uh, this one uh, uh, this fertilizers and all and if you are not washed properly that if you use for cooking also there may be chance of poisoning the next one is the delivery delivery means like uh, some people uh, their bedroom will be full of medicine or like a pharmacy uh, like they they will keep one medicine for everything small headache abdominal pain whatever fever everything they will keep one one medicine finally they will end up with the overdosage how to treat it means one is research resuscitation and maintenance of vital function care of respiration bp heart rate blood temperature you have to maintain and next is the termination of exposure how to terminate means by uh, keeping the patient to a fresh air or washing of skin eyes also by washing with the soap Uh, you can uh, eliminate i mean eliminate drug and next one is the ms is like you can induce vomiting if possible and uh, you can do gastric lavas also and next one is the how to next step is prevention how to prevent it means by decreasing the absorption of the particular drug to decrease absorption 
what are prevent what you have to do you have to give activated charcoal activated charcoal it's act as a adsorbent like it can able to adhere the uh, poisonous drug on its surface so that it will prevent the further absorption okay next one is the specific antidote like to increase elimination you have a specific antidote you can give uh, so that you can increase the elimination <coughs> multiple dose activated charcoal you can use and if the drug is acidic you can alkalize the urine if the drug is basic you can acidify the urine but clinically we are not doing acidification of urine only alkalization will do and next step is the dialysis dialysis uh, blood purification you can do it next type of adverse effect is the anaphylaxis what is anaphylaxis means it's an acute severe allergic reaction uh, like if it occurs you have to hospitalize the patient in case of anaphylactic shock um, uh, adrenaline is the life-saving drug we'll discuss that later coming to the immunological reaction there are four types type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 here uh, these are not that much important just uh, if you know the names is enough uh, type 1 is mainly due to IgE antibody mediated type 2 is IgM or IgG antibody mediated type 3 also again IgM antibody mediated type 4 is the T cell uh, T cell B cell like cell mediated type okay I'm not going detail with this. Next one is the drug dependence and drug addiction. It's a five mark question. See drug dependence when you say it's a psychological effect. Uh, like psychologically or mentally you feel like if you take the drug only you feel happy or you can able to maintain the mental status properly. And drug addiction when you say uh, like your body start addicted that like no, it can able to maintain the normal physiological function only in presence of drug that will happen we'll go with the slides drug dependence sorry drug addiction is that uh, see drug ad <coughs> I, I told opposite drug addiction when you say it's a psychological phenomenon drug dependence is the uh, like the body start feeling like it, uh, it needs a presence of drug to perform the physiological function we'll go with the slides drug addiction develops when the individuals believe that optimal state of well-being is achieved through the action of the drug it re results in compulsive drug use in some individual like they should take it daily even for small headache also sometimes like some person they require one paracetamol to relieve the headache like that intensity of dependence vary from desire to craving craving means you feel like to take it again and again the name they have given here is the reinforcement ability of drug to produce effects that make the user wish to take it again opioids benzodiazepine cocaine these are the few drugs for addiction next one is the drug dependence it is manifested by a withdrawal or abstinence syndrome like when you stop this drug the body will show some withdrawal effect okay in which what is withdrawal syndrome's effect i'll come to that later in which untoward physiological uh, physical effect occurs when the drug is stopped or when its effect is counteracted by a specific antagonist or like when you give an antidote for example opioids we have a morphine we have an antidote naloxone when you give that it shows on benzodiazepine we have an antidote flumazenil when you give that it shows some withdrawal syndromes okay next one is the drug habituation like you feel like to have it daily but when you stop you don't you will get only mild dis discomfort like it just doesn't mean like you can't stop it and here there is no withdrawal syndrome or uh, symptoms also uh, drug habituation denote less intensive involvement with the drug so that its withdrawal produces only mild discomfort there is no withdrawal symptoms also dependence is absent example coffee tea tobacco social drinking like when you go for parties you'll have alcohol next term is the drug abuse 
drug abuse means like here the patient will take by self medication like if they won't consult the doctor that will exceed the normal therapeutic dose it refers to the use of a drug by self medication amount that deviates from the approved medical and social patterns in a given culture at a given time there are two types one is continuous use and occasional use continuous use means for example alcohol daily the person will take occasional means when you go for party only you will have a alcohol binge drinking the binge drinking is nothing but taking an alcohol <coughs> examples are given anabolic steroids uh, mainly weight lifting person they will uh, misuse this drug amphetamine students sometimes they will take during exams to avoid sleeping Uh, alcohol smoking next one is the next adverse effect is teratogenicity what is teratogenicity means like when you prescribe any drug to a pregnant woman it crosses the placenta and reach the fetus and causes abnormality in the fetus like when you are prescribing drug to a pregnant woman but there is an abnormality in the developing fetus okay ability of a drug to cause fetal abnormalities when administered to a pregnant woman uh, this teratogenicity can occur in three stages of pregnancy one is fertilization and implantation conception to 17 days if it occurs there is a failure of pregnancy next step is the organogenesis like 18 to 55 days of gestation in that deformities may occur growth and development stage that is 56 days onwards it causes functional abnormalities i'll give you some example uh, this is a picture showing the stages uh, okay thalidomide disaster so thalidomide first they introduced it as an anti emetic during this time 1958 to 61 that time it caused phocomelia phocomelia means seal like limbs or there is a shortness of limbs upper limb or lower limb like leg hands there is a shortness will occur this is a beautiful lady she delivered with this phocomelia disease we call it as a penguin girl okay uh, but now that's why the this thalidomide might was which on from the market that time okay uh, morning sickness like from pre to treat vomiting we have given this thalidomide next one is the phenytoin corticosteroids they causes cleft lip and cleft palate this is the first two pictures are cleft lip and these are cleft palates next one is the phenytoin again it causes microcephaly there is a shortness of brain a small head and hypoplastic phalanges phalangeal bone there is a hypoplasia okay tetracycline it, when you prescribe to a pregnant woman it causes two discoloration in the developing fetus or this is an yellow patches on the teeth spina bifida no carbamazepine it's used in epilepsy it causes spina bifida spina bifida means there is a uh, vertebral column Uh, there is a cross uh, the vertebral column will be cross in these patients next next adverse effect is the photosensitivity when you exposed to sun you will get some adverse effect or some uh, photosensitivity reactions cutaneous reaction or uh, skin reaction resulting from drug induced sensitization of the skin to uv radiation one is phototoxic photochem like there are again two types phototoxic and photoallergic it depends on the how much wavelength you are exposed one is uh, like phototoxic mainly shorter wavelength uvb rays like 29 to 32 320 nanometer wavelength and if it is an allergic longer wavelength uva radiations 320 to 400 nanometer phototoxic photochemical followed by a photovoltaic reaction examples are like erythema redness edema swelling hyperpigmentation pigment level will increase desquamation there is a sloughing of uh, skin uh, tissue tissues will be there uh, then next one is the photoallergic cell mediated immune reaction like if the person is very sensitive only you'll see papil or contact dermatitis some uh, have an examples hyperpigmentation desquamation contact dermatitis 
next one is the drug withdrawal reaction see like uh, you have given particular drug like for example propionol for the treatment of hypertension like here you have given the uh, drug to cause fall in bp but if you stop suddenly there is a rise in bp okay that is the withdrawal reaction so you see here uh, example acute adrenal insufficiency in that case uh, we are using corticosteroids but that will worsen the condition if it stops suddenly which role of clonidine clonidine again is used in hypertension it causes severe hypertension instead of fall, causing fall in bp it causes rise in bp sudden shoot of a building which role of beta blocker causes worsening of angina pectoris or myocardial infarction okay angina it may worsen and there is chance of heart attack or myocardial infarction also occur which role of epileptic uh, like for example phenytoin carbamazepine causes increase in frequency of seizures like in all the cases like you are given drug to uh, reduce the symptom but there is a sudden shoots of like if you stop suddenly like what you have to do you have to taper the dose or you have to reduce the dose like if you want to stop then you will have to stop it not suddenly okay next one is the iatrogenic disease what do you mean by iatrogenic disease means it's a drug induced or physician induced disease any adverse condition in a patient occurring as a result of treatment by a physician surgeon or an health care professionals uh, especially infections occurred by the patient during the course of treatment example hepatitis by isoniazid isoniazid is used in tuberculosis peptic ulcer by salicylate or uh, corticosteroid salicylate means aspirin and all uh, they will in, uh, causes peptic ulcer corticosteroids also they will induce peptic ulcer last uh, adverse effect is the carcinogenicity and mutagenicity what i mean by carcinogenicity means like cancer inducing mutagen like mutations uh, carcinogen denotes a chemical substance or a mixture of chemical substance which induce cancer or increase its incidence is an agent such as chemical uv light or radioactive element that can induce or increase the frequency of a mutation in an organism that's it today thank you